Once upon a time on an ordinary day, an ordinary bloke in his workday way was walking around Joppa, the seaside town, of very little interest to no renown. Jonah was the name of the typical guy who was very much surprised when up in the sky the voice of the law blew out of the cloud. Extraordinary day and extraordinary now. Jonah, I've got a job for you. Something extraordinary for you to do. There's a town across the sea. I've seen a Sinnehah. So please take a message to the town of Nineveh. Forty more dinners for the city of Sinnehah. Forty days to change all curtains for dinners. But Shai, this is some kind of elaborate joke. I'm not a priest or a preacher, just an ordinary bloke. You will do. Says who? Says me. You are? I'm God, so get yourself to Nineveh. Okay. Anything you say. Go. But God wanted Jonah to agree. But Jonah was a yellow man down to me. He got himself broke, so himself blowed with his feet, got an elbow with a lump in his throat. Hoping to escape the laws of the sex, because the boat was about to die in the opposite direction from Nineveh. Hey, Nineveh's that way. Go. Oh, no. He seems like a ponderly figure, of course. But two days later, it was bucking like a horse. The crew were deafened by the howling of the gales, and the timbers were shivered from the keels to the sail. The boat was thrown about like a cork on the deep, but down in the hold, Jonah was asleep. rock a bye Jonah, in your bunk bed. When you wake up, you may well be dead to the world, snoring like a drunk. He slept through the storm in his tiny bunk till the captain woke him up and said, Yet I'm afraid that the Lord doesn't make this your last living day. Up on deck, Jonah faced the crew, who were desperate. We didn't have a clue. Jonah was a fully paid up land lover. He started to wear and he started to blubber. This is all my fault running off to the Lord. If you want to save yourself, then throw me overboard. What? Well, alright then. Waves rushed through and the ship began to sink, so the crew grabbed Jonah and threw him in the drink. Splash! The waves died down, the storm clouds cleared, and quietly bubbling, Jonah disappeared. The crew gave thanks, the ship sailed on, and the ordinary broke the job was. Gone, 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 gone. Which would have been the end of this fishy tale if God hadn't sent along a great new whale. It floated in cold and the mighty fish swam with Jonah away from Tarsus. Jonah flashed around in his cavernous bowl. Howl, howl, howl! It was echoing, echoing, echoing howl. <laughs> They play rugby in Wales, you know. Yes, and they have leeks in Wales too. Leeks? I'm going to drown! Not that kind of leak, you clown. Three days later, when time was a blur, came a heave and a hoe and a great big blur. Jonah found himself face down in the sand, vomited forth in an unknown land. Watching the disappearing dorsal of Nineveh, he realised he was lying on the beach in Nineveh. The voice of God struck him like a harpoon. Ah, oh, let's do this, you're a tall night out of that tuna. <laughs> A wave of fear, she got on her boat, but it picked himself up and he put himself down to the sand from his sandals and went into town. Soon he was lost in a crush of leaves of light finger juices with knives on their sleeves. I got an idea and I'll listen to me, but let's put the church not to his spot you go. Let's hot wire some camels and ram and chops and throw back an exit in none of his cops. Yeah! There were pimps and pushes and shiters and scruffs. Drugged up, drunk, and rougher than rough. Jonah lost his watch, his wallet. Am I right? And eight seconds later. Enough is enough! He stood right up in the noise in Nineveh and preached in the market in the city of Nineveh. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen! The crowd stood still. Uh, uh, the Lord has asked me to express his not inconsiderable displeasure and his willingness to exact retribution at your, shall we say, reluctance to comply wholeheartedly with his, with his inestimable will. What? Stop doing evil, stop doing wrong, stop worshipping the Lord. We haven't got long, because in 40 days' time, he wants up this town if he doesn't see a conduct turned around. They still stood still, everyone silent. Jonah was convinced they would soon turn violent, but gradually a whisper <coughs> ripped through the crowd, and together the people shouted aloud. We don't agree with what you're talking about. about. You're, you're absolutely right. right. Who spelt the trout? They threw off their silks and they threw off their sacks and prayed and repented and sacked off and ashes. Oh, happy day, 
Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. When Jesus washed. He washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Jonah was introduced to the king of us, and now to defeat God towards him in love. Agreed, said the king. We need to change our ways. God's word is true and it's here to stay. The Lord was pleased with his resolution and changed his mind about retribution. Sorted! So no one there broke to drop us from rough, from rough to gem, from ugly and tough, to the best of best, to take them in the shop. But remember, every diamond comes from an ordinary rock. So remember, every diamond comes from an ordinary rock.